for fast, cheap, and reliable Madden 21 Ultimate Team coins. Make sure you guys go check out my sponsor, Easy Mutt. Use code Venom at checkout for 5% off. Yo, what's good guys, Venom Fire here back with another video and today I'm bringing you guys a blitz out of the nickel 335 wide formation. This formation has really become popular because of how good it is against the run and the pass, but there's a really, really nice blitz that a lot of people are running, pro players in particular, uh, that can really make this formation over the top. You add in a blitz, bluff blitz, pass coverage concept, and it becomes really difficult to stop. So we're going to be running out of 335 wide. We are in the 4-6 playbook because we're going to audible from 3-2-5 to 3-2-5 wide so we can get safeties at linebacker. If you didn't know, you can't actually sub in safeties right here. You see no way I can sub in a safety at this outside linebacker in the 3 5 wide. So I have to audible from that. Again, 4-6 playbook. Before we get into the video, make sure you guys subscribe. Also, 75% of my viewers are not subscribed, so hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Um, with this nickel 335, you're going to put your fastest safeties on the outside linebacker spots. We got Troy Apke in particular. He's going to be the one we're rushing off the edge. Uh, again, put your fastest guy there. You're going to be using this middle linebacker, so you can throw whoever there. Uh, and yeah, so we're going to audible. I'm going to set my audibles because, again, we're going to quickly audible once you break the huddle. Uh, the player running is Mike Blitz 3. I actually made a video on this formation or on this play. Uh, more of a pass defense style video. Didn't really include a blitz. So you can check that out. Add those setups to this play. It can become really, really nice. So just set that up in your audibles and then we are good to go. I'm going to just come out in any random play out of the 3-3-5. I'd usually just choose the Tampa 2. Again, doesn't make any difference. Uh, and yeah, with that being said, let's just go ahead, hop straight into the setup. So again... You're just going to simply audible, just press X or square, and push your D-pad to the left once. That puts you in the Mike Blitz 3, and then you can just press it and go from there. So we're going to press it and then set up our play. So what you want to do first things first, you already saw what I did. I spread my or I shifted my D-line to that right side. Next adjustment you do is you're going to slant outside, and then you're going to pinch your linebackers and contain. So again. Uh, you're going to shift your D-line right, you're going to uh, slant outside, you're going to pinch your linebackers, and then contain. So four steps, relatively simple. Again, three of, or three of them are on the D-line, so pretty simple. And then again, contain. So two D-line adjustments, one linebacker adjustments, and then just double tap, double tap RB to contain. Um, now I'm just going to talk about the blitz first, and then we'll hop into some backside adjustments that you can do. Uh, but yeah, so with the blitz, the guy that we're going to come free is that outside linebacker, our safety in this case, Troy Apke. He's on the right side, uh, and he should get pressure. Now, one thing I'll say about the blitz, it's not a guaranteed pressure, and you'll see that throughout the video. Uh, it's more of a 50-50 chance. Uh, I know that does sound kind of bad, but again, you got to keep in mind, you're rushing five, he's blocking five. It's not going to be guaranteed to get a pressure. And overall, with this play, you do want to bluff blitz majority of the time and kind of mix in the blitz slowly. You don't want to send the blitz every single play uh, and then slowly mix in coverage. So this is nickel 335 wide is more of a coverage style of defense, uh, more of a bend but don't break. But then again, you can mix in this blitz on third downs, fourth downs, things like that. So uh, that's why the blitz doesn't come through every single time. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, now, one thing I forgot to mention is that you do want some uh, good D linemen. So you want some fast defensive linemen. Uh, we got Chase Young and Montez Sweat in particular. So Sweat, he's really fast. Uh, he's going to disengage with, the, or he's going to get engaged with the linemen pretty quickly. Again, I'm not sure if that matters too much, but I've noticed with faster D linemen, it does work a little bit better. All right. With that being said, let's just snap the ball and watch Troy Apke. We'll see if he does get pressure on this first one. I believe he should, and yes, he does. Uh, he kind of got tripped up there which I haven't seen a whole bunch. I've been labbing this play for over an hour now, and I haven't seen him ever get tripped up like that, which is kind of unfortunate, but you know, it really is what it is. Uh, you guys saw that he would have had a clear lane at the QB. I'm not even sure what he tripped on, but let's just set it up again. So again, you're just gonna audible from 335 to 335 wide. Just go as fast as you can because you want as much time for the adjustments out of 335 wide uh, as possible. So again, I'm just going to quickly audible, shift my D-line to the right, slant outside, pinch my linebackers, and contain. Again, four simple adjustments. That time, Apke does get kind of pushed to the right side, but you still see we do get the pressure, and that's two for two. Still at 100%. That's what we like to see. Uh, take a look at the replay. 
And sometimes you will see these kind of weird animations happen when you're rushing one of these outside linebackers in a contained assignment uh, where Montez Sweat, it really does, the, the reality of it is that the blitz comes down to the animation that Montez Sweat gets. So if he gets an inside rushing animation, this guy's going to come faster. Sometimes um, if he does get an outside adjustment, Troy Apke is going to be stuck and it's going to take him a while to just get pressure. Um, so this time we did get an outside adjustment that kind of messes up because obviously they run into each other but the right guard he's still not going to block him so it's not the biggest of deals it just adds on maybe another second um but you still see in real time it's going to still be relatively quick pressure you see the routes really aren't too developed uh so again we'll set up the blitz a couple of more times i do have some other setups just past defense setups for you guys I got a couple at the end of the video but again we're more focused on the blitz uh again if you want i am planning on dropping a full ebook on this formation so let me know in the comments if you do want that but we'll set it up again uh, just audible shift the line to the right slant outside and contain don't forget to pinch those linebackers again snap the ball and this time we get the really really quick pressure that's the animation that you're looking for every time that Troy Apke animation that is the best animation that you can get out of this blitz again I've been labbing this for over an hour I've seen every animation in the book besides him falling but uh, this is the animation you want so uh, quick tip for you guys when you first audible you want to slant your you want to shift your d-line to the right as fast as you can because you notice uh, Montez Sweat is closer to the linebacker than he was on other plays and this really does help because now he's going to get an inside animation almost guaranteed he already has the outside leverage the odds of him going with an outside pass rush move are a little bit lower uh, and since they're not super stacked they are touching but they're not stacked uh, he's able to get that double team and in real time very, very quick pressure, not gonna get an interdetected, none of that. Uh, so that's the animation you wanna do. So again, right when I audible, I wanna shift my D-line to the right as fast as I can. I don't wanna do it super, super fast, but I wanna do it as fast as I can. So I'm audible, I shift my D-line to the right. That time, it was a little bit slow. We'll see if we get pressure still, uh, and we do. So again, just do it as fast as you can. Usually, I mean, sometimes I have done it so fast that they're actually stacked and that kind of messes it up. But really, it shouldn't make a huge deal here. Again, you see I shifted it pretty quickly. They're not stacked, though. Realistically, again, we're going to get pressure. Sometimes they rub off like that, which is obviously fine. Uh, um, sometimes they'll get tripped up. Sometimes they will still get pressure. You saw it happen both ways. But again, the setup, just audible. Shift your D-line to the right. Slant outside. Pinch your linebackers and contain. Pinching your linebackers doesn't really affect Apke, but it just affects that guy on the left. Uh, I'm not sure why, but again, I've tried it without pinching my linebackers, and I really don't get that much pressure. So I won't say it's an adjustment you necessarily have to do, but it's recommended. That time, I believe we got a disengage from Landon Collins. I wasn't really paying attention to that left side. We'll take a look at the replay, but uh, one thing with this play is that sometimes you get disengages. Sometimes it's sweat or pain. Usually it's never Chase Young, um, but sometimes these two players will get weird disengages. I've noticed it from sweat. From the spot that sweats in a lot more um, but pain can also get sheds from the inside let's take a look at Collins um, he didn't even get a real disengage but sometimes with this contained because of how it's you know pinched this is why we pinch our linebackers by the way uh, is this animation is really really nice so even though Apke didn't get the pressure he kind of got stonewalled Collins was able to make up for it and still a very quick pressure so again we'll just set it up a couple more times and then we will hop into our pass adjustments but here Apke is still going to get to the outside. You see how he's kind of doing that weird sliding animation? So even though he got initially blocked, he was able to still get the pressure. Again, rate right when you go ahead, audible, shift your D-line to the right as fast as you can. Then you just slant outside, pinch your linebackers, and contain. So that might seem like a lot of adjustments. Geez, four adjustments. But I, you see I'm doing it in like less than a second almost. With practice, you'll get it even faster. So here, he does get stuck in the... Um, contain but even if your blitz gets blocked you're rushing five people you should get pretty quick pressure they can't scramble out uh, so i'll just show one more time here and then we will hop into our adjustments in the back end again very quick pressure that time we got an error detected not too big of a deal but does kind of affect half a second of play uh, so i'm going to set up the blitz normally do all of our blitz adjustments like this but we're going to adjust the back end so what i'm going to do is I like to just press and I'm going to shut up, or set up a base cover to defense. So what I'm going to do is just put both corners in cloud flats, put both safeties in deep halves, and then I'm just going to put A in a vert hook adjustment. So it's going to look like this. 
not the worst defense and we're kind of banking on getting pressure when we're sending five. So we just don't want to give up big plays. We're leaving the middle of the field open. We're going to be using it regardless. The outsides are going to be pretty well taken care of with the press. Uh, and overall, just a good thing to mix up. We're getting a lot of cover three, giving him a lot of cover three. So mixing in a little cover two like this is that nice. Uh, we didn't get the pressure. You still see relatively good coverage down the field though, the vert hook. I like the vert hook a lot from that slot corner. And we were able to eventually get the sack. Can't scramble out again. He's gonna have to step up in the pocket if the, that contain animation happens. So I'll set that up again here. Uh, obviously the same blitz adjustments, but with the back end, we're pressing a and a vert hook, and then we're just putting both corners in those uh, clad flats, putting both safeties and deep halves, putting A in a vert hook. That might seem like a lot, of, a lot of adjustments, but really, right after you audible, you get those D-line adjustments good, and then you're just setting up the back end normally as if you were coming out in 3-3-5 wide. So again, we'll snap the ball here. We get the pressure, and you see, he gets this, he kind of gets that weird contain like startup, but then after he sort of passes through that he gets really really quick pressure so again just watching it in real time Apke's gonna kind of slow up and then he just like sprints directly to that's 94 speed and you see just a little quick animation that time even with my user it's not like I'm running down causing a disengage of any sorts uh, I'm just simply defending a and X but really really quick pressure so let's hop into an overall bluff blitz concept what would I do if I were bluffing it completely, I would set up the blitz the same. We want it to look the same, but we're going to do some different adjustments. Now, what I like to do personally is I'm going to set up a little cover two, cover three cloud, cover three Mabel type look. So for this, what I would do is I would set my curl flat or my cloud flat. I would set my cloud flat zone drops to 20 or my flats and my curl flats to five. So uh, this is obviously going to be a little bit more complicated. It's a little bit of a mouthful for me. Uh, but what you're going to do, first things first, you're going to throw X in a cloud flat and you're going to throw Y in a deep half. Just like this, next thing you're going to do is you're going to throw this X linebacker in a curl flat. You're going to throw A in a hard flat and you're going to put uh, this A linebacker in a curl flat. So again, our flats are 20 yards, so a hard flat is playing the same as a cloud flat. It does not matter, so that's why we put them in a hard flat. You can't throw a slot corner in a cloud flat like that unless I were to shade over the top again, which I can do. Just shade with the top, just shade with the top like that, but it's just an uh, or geez, it's just an extra adjustment that's not necessary. So here's what the defense looks like. Usually, what I would do is I would either just slant outside from this, get the three-man rush, which you can do, and then I would either spy A if he has a mobile QB or he likes to step up in the pocket. If not, I can just rush the three. Three-man rush, still very good. And you see the blitz looks exactly the same. So what's he gonna start doing? He's gonna block his running back. That gives you one last person to defend. He maybe puts his tight end like a weird delay. But you see, we rush three with good defensive linemen. You're gonna get pretty quick pressure just like we did. So I'll show that one more time and then we will head out of here. So simply audible, set up the blitz the exact same. Again, we don't have to do the blitz adjustments like um, slanting outside, but we still want to go ahead, pinch our linebackers and spread our D-line, or shift our D-line to the right. Uh, on the back end, you're throwing X in a quad flat, Y in a deep half, the X linebacker in a curl flat, you're putting A in a hard flat, the A linebacker in a curl flat, and then you're slanting outside. It's very simple. For me, I've got these adjustments down, but if you don't, I would recommend going in practice mode, practicing the transition from 3-3-5 to 3-3-5 wide, practicing the blitz, practicing the back end adjustments. Um, but you see, you can really catch someone off guard with this. There we go, snag that easy pick. And again, he's gonna be a little bit paranoid. Even though you rush three, he's gonna be worried about the blitz. Again, the blitz works better on certain formations than others. I believe it works good against gun bunch, but obviously it's gonna be a little bit better if their tight end is not on the line of scrimmage. Still, very solid blitz, very solid scheme. And yeah, it's gonna do it for the video. If you guys enjoyed, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. If you are new, follow me on Twitter, link will be in the description and peace, I'm out of here.